Welcome everyone, this is Asadullah Chaudhary and today we'll be discussing about simple sign up and login example. So I'll be using MySQL database and I'll be also using the sessions, the PHP sessions. So let's go ahead and create a new, new file. I'm going to save this file as index.php it's inside htdocs and the tuts touch is another directory I'm gonna save my file inside the tuts so this file will contain all of my markup HTML and login page the character scheme is going to be or correct encoding is going to be UTF-8 I'll be using an external style sheet I'll put this style sheet inside public CSS and the name of the style sheet will be style.css I will have to make one Inside the body, I'm going to create a wrapper that will contain all of my markup. Let me give it an ID, wrapper, another container, form, form wrapper, then the heading tag, heading is going to be login. and then input tag input type text name is going to be username and placeholder is going to be username the placeholder is what displays if you don't input anything it will be the by, by default text displayed into the input field and if you click the input box it will be disappeared so this time the next input input field is going to be for password and the name is also going to be password you can name it anything it's not mandatory to use password over here I just named it password for my own reason and the placeholder is going to be the password you have noticed I have used type equals to password over here so what's the difference between text and the password whatever you type into the password field that will be shown to you in the dotted form instead of the proper text I'm going to create a button and the type of this button is going to be submit and I'm gonna name it submit and the value is okay login so let's check this out into the browser localhost tuts the, so the login page looks like this let me give it some styles first I have to create the style sheet to put my style sheet I'll be creating few of the directories the first one is public inside the public I'm going to create another directory it's going to be CSS the second one is going to be JS 
to put my JavaScript file. Third one is going to be images. So in this particular example, I'm not going to use JS or images. I made the folder just to show you the directory structure. So inside the CSS, I'm going to save my CSS file. I just named it style.css. That's what we that's what I just mentioned over here. Public CSS and then style.css. All right. I'm going to put my reset style code at the top margin 0 padding 0 and Let me style my form wrapper now. Form wrapper width is going to be 300 pixels. Height is going to be 250 pixels. And border is going to be one pixel solid. light gray and the margin is going to be hundred pixels auto refresh actually it should be margin not margin top refresh Okay. So let's give it some style to the internal elements. I'm going to target the heading. Text line center and the font family is Verdana refresh form wrapper and then I'm going to target the input boxes margin top is 20 pixels padding is going to be 5 pixels refresh Now it looks better. Width is going to be uh, let's suppose hundred percent refresh. I knew it will overflow. It should be ninety five percent. Yeah, it's better now. Form wrapper. And this time I'm going to target the button. I'm going to style my button. Width is 100%. Perfect. padding 5 pixels 
looks good I think should be 8 pixels yeah good I'm gonna put some padding to the form wrapper it's going to be let's suppose 20 pixels refresh margin top for the input elements it's going to be 10 pixels and 20 pixels margin top for the button margin top 20 pixels and just one thing remaining I forgot to put uh, div id sign up info anchor tag and sign up actually it's s i g n u p sign up dot php let's check this out into the browser so far it looks like this let me move the don't have account message a little bit down sign up info Padding top is 30 pixels. And text is going to align text align center. Perfect. So we have successfully designed the login page. Let me check the video duration. So I think I should stop now and uh, I should create another part. So I'll see you in the next, next part.